name is Peter Spence and I'm the Minister at Wardy Baptist Church. And my name is Matt Nutt and I'm the Minister at King's Community Church. In 1959, Warley decided to plant or pioneer a church here in the council, at the brand new council estate of Brand Hall. And uh, the, the church soon grew. Uh, it called its first minister, it built this building, and, uh, and then it grew even more as people came to faith. I, I kind of some point in the, in, in the future, uh, Two churches had a bit of a disagreement. Uh, 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 differences occurred in their way of thinking. Uh, our church was swept up in the charismatic uh, renewal and uh, we wanted to seek independence from the churches. Divisions occurred mm. and uh, uh, we, there was a, a breakdown in that relationship. Kind of like a coexisting occurred yeah. in the locality. Uh, rather than a working relationship. And about eight years ago, I recognised that this relationship between the two churches was, in reality, ineffective. I had met Mark, who was Matt's predecessor, and we chatted about the reasons for that. We both agreed that the history was gone, and that the focus should be on coming back together to a place of active support, a place of encouragement, so we brought both congregations together on a Sunday morning. We acknowledged what had been. We gave thanks for the good things that had come from that. We recognised and we accepted our differences and committed ourselves to work together where we could and to encourage each other from that point forward. It was a powerful and a moving day. It was. It was indeed. And uh, this current project that we're uh, partnering in together now has grown out of this commitment from both churches, this desire to do something positive uh, within our community. Uh, we're seeking to work together to uh, address the current pandemic. Uh, Wally started uh, cooking meals, uh, wanting to plan and work out how to care for those most vulnerable in our community. And over a Zoom meeting, we quickly decided that we could do this together, that we could work together and bring our two teams, our two amazing teams of volunteers together in this new project. Both churches have a very active and live presence in the community and that presence is about showing that practical and that unconditional love of Jesus to the whole of the community. We're now serving approximately 170 hot names over two days every week to those who are isolated and designated vulnerable by this current crisis. And it is beautiful to be able to see the church being all that the church can be. So I would say that, that this is how we, we get to be the church in this era and hopefully beyond. Cooperation, encouragement, support, and real love for each other and for everyone we meet. Yeah, be in the body of Christ together. Amen. And here's the heart of the activity for today. The team hard at work in the kitchen, preparing the meal, and getting ready for when the drivers arrive. being prepared and set out for the drivers when they come in um, to go out and to deliver this week's meals to the community.